penalty for underpayment of tax. So here's the metaphorical sticks we're trying to avoid. This is the whole point. We can't avoid the taxes. We're going to pay the taxes that we are legally required to pay, attempting to file the tax return so that we are paying the minimum that we're legally required to pay. So that it is what it is, right? However, we don't want to be tacking on top of that the added penalties, the, the added beating that we can take from the sticks of penalties and interest, right? So if you did not pay enough income tax and self-employment tax for 2023 by withholding or by making estimated tax payments, you may have to pay a penalty on the amount not paid. Now, I just want to point out that many small businesses that move from a W-2 employee to a sole proprietor, do even if they do quite well, again, they forget to do the estimated tax payments because they're not used to it. They haven't been trained. They don't even, they don't really understand that they're even paying taxes because of the way the W-2 system was <laughs> kind of worked before. So what happens if they don't pay taxes in the current year, they're going to be behind on the taxes and then they're going to have to prepay the taxes for the next year, which means they would have to pay two years of taxes in essence, right? In order to get caught up again. So, so we, we really want to not do that because that's highly detrimental to a business to be in the hole because of taxes because they did well and then didn't pay the taxes because they didn't really understand they had to pay as they go kind of system so you could really help a lot of small businesses if you can make them aware of their tax obligations and when they need to pay them generally so the irs will figure the penalty for you and send you a bill or you can uh, use form 2210 under payment of estimated tax by individuals estates and trusts to see if you have to pay a penalty and to figure the penalty amount so oftentimes tax software will help you to kind of calculate if the payments were not made properly uh, over the over over the time frame but sometimes it's not exact because the I, so so the IRS then might give you uh, if give you a notice saying that you have late payments and they're charging you basically penalties and interest uh, if, in that format. So for more information, you can see publication five hundred five.